This spectacle continues until their third night out. Noel has grown quite fond of them and tries to feed them green papaya. By the end of the afternoon, the boat has gotten even lower in the water. The men make out the coast of Uvea just in time. But the adventure is not over yet. The sailors must make their way around the threatening cliffs to find the safety of the lagoon. They hope their raft doesn't sink before they arrive. Their journey's not over yet. They find themselves up against strong countercurrents. But on the morning of the fourth day, Noel is wild with joy and sounds the call. The changing tide has brought them to the southern shore of Uvea, among the Muli tribe. As for the snake, it must be glad it's not going to be eaten. From its high lookout, it can once again see solid ground. As is the custom even today, the boa will be used to chase cockroaches and mice in the houses. In the meantime, it amuses the native children. They've barely gotten off their raft when they're told the Muli chief is waiting to greet them in the village. Bertrand and his friends will take in the snakes and other offerings. Once again, the age-old tradition is played out. Bertrand, Willy, and Noah have found a new island paradise, thanks to an old man's tale. Legend or reality, no one will ever know. But the tale of the Kalemu raft will live on in the hearts of the Melanesian people. In the next episode of Adventure, we'll remain in the Pacific to undertake new and extraordinary voyages into the amazing world of one-of-a-kind discoveries.